have a brand new soap today from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet! Hey, it's good to see you! Come on in, we're glad you're here. And if you're here during the live premiere, why join the chat? We have such an awesome group of folks hanging out on Wednesdays and Saturday mornings, and they'd love to meet you and hit like and subscribe, if you would. It helps out the channel. Yeah, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So what is our mention today? Well, if y'all are in the community, there is a chance that you have heard of Foxy Matt. He is Mm -hmm. one of the nicest guys in the whole world of wet shaving and when he found out we had never tried a PAA razor why he put this beauty in the mail to us we are so honored this is the metaphor razor from Phoenix Mm -hmm. Artisan Accoutrements it is a three piece razor and it has these little flare tips you can change out the color on it which are cool right they come in these little packages like this and this is an homage to a razor by the Kirby Beard Company by Lorraine who was in business in the 30s and 40s and the cool thing is this is a clog proof razor because if you look at how the blade sits in there there is nothing underneath the channel but blade and space Mm -hmm. right so the soap can flow right through so I will be shaving with this and today's soap so if you fast forward to uh, how it shaves you can can get my little review of both so Matt (laughs) thank you for not only being an awesome guy but for sending this over for us to try i'll I know, I'm excited. report it has back a really tonight and give you a call to it like no. we we're kind of impressed so it's just totally different than any of the other razors we have and, and this that, knurling oh, y'all yeah, i could probably like serious. open my hand right now and it would stick it's like, serious woo, beautiful yeah. so i'm so excited to try this it's our first razor it from paa is. that Stay we're tuned. trying so mm-hmm. love it and then for our soap y'all this was another surprise from yes. douglas and fran we had no idea this was even coming until no. we got an email that said hey folks surprise. we've got one from the advent calendar mm-hmm. that everybody seemed to love, and we're creating a full set, so let's meet the song! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rabbit Fighter. If I could choose a superpower for myself, it would be the ability to smell the future. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to release scents that try to encapsulate just that. And Rabbit Fighter, I believe, is one of them. To me, Rabbit Fighter is the scent of pure science fiction. Ooh, that Love is a it, Douglas right? Lee thing. Yeah. Okay. Meaning, if futuristic fantasy was a category of fragrance in the world of perfuming, this would be it. I've smelt the future, and I call thee Rabbit Fire. <laughs> I have smelled the future, folks. Wow. Oh, okay. I love it. And you know, like we were talking about last night with Foxy Matt on the phone. The one thing about PAA and Douglas and Fran is just the width and breadth of what they are able to create. You all just, it runs the gambit from the alpha to the omega, from the, your classic aftershave homages to things like this. this. <laughs> Douglas's imaginative vision of being able to smell the future. And yo, it is so appreciated because it means that my shaves are just going to be nostalgic or inventive or futuristic or mm-hmm. y'all, there's just no boundaries on their creativity yeah, there over really there. really isn't. This is also a tip of the hat to Mark Bolin and T-Rex. Fun fact, I was once called the Mark Bolin of shaving. I never really knew what they meant, but I'll take it. Hey, we even listened to the song. We did. Y'all, I'm excited because (laughs) do you you have any clue? I mean, even just glancing at these set notes, what this is going to smell like? And even even so, every time I think I understand where he's hinting at by the... You know, it it never lines up. I can kind of sort of guess, but once you get a whiff of it, it really takes you to a whole different place than you even thought you could imagine. And and, and a lot of times with the PAA soaps, I will get one thing and you will... Sort of get right. another, and Which I love fun. that. Right. So, y'all, let's have an unboxing. Oh, it just got here. Oh, y'all, these <laughs> surprise boxes from Douglas and Fred. All right, let's see okay. how they come. Oh, it's my favorite foamy paper. Hey. Good. Fo- Whoa. Yeah, we don't know what the label looks like yet. We haven't seen anything. Oh, <laughs> a very Phoenix fun label. Look Y'all, at that. Y'all, look at this. Holy moly. Rabbit fighter. Y'all, he's got magical lasers coming out of his eyeballs. Oh. What's that white stuff? It's a, it's a feather? feather. It's a big Ooh. feather. And then there's like a lady over here. What wow. used to be a lady. Yeah, I don't know. She's getting Ooh. attacked. Here. And he's holding 
He's, he's holding, holding the splash. He is. Which just lets you know you might want to so get So maybe splash. you should open the splash and see what that oh! looks like. Oh! I wonder what he's holding on the splash. Oh, Let's open up the phone. He's a pink rabbit, and Rabbit Fighter is written with lipstick, y'all. What oh, is this going to be? Is it really? That's it hilarious. Is. And my favorite confetti. Interesting. Let's see. There he is. He's holding the splash on the splash, y'all. Oh, love it. Perfect friends. A beautiful yellowy wow. green color. Maybe a menthol right? in there, maybe. Oh, it's been too long since we've had a Phoenix Y'all, unboxing. this is why we do it. Let's have a first impression. No more stalling here, people. All right. I have Take it no in. idea. I, don't, I have no idea. Clearly, I, I'm supposed to smell the future. I, I mean, don't know what that rabbit, is. Rabbit, right? So grass, vetiver. I mean, right? I, I, I guess there's vetiver in the and, set. And no. it's technically like a spring release. If, right. If, like, springtime should mean something. Who knows? But it smells like science fiction. That's what I want. Okay, And that it. could be anything. I know. I know. Anything. I'm, I'm excited. All right. Let's see what we got here. I was trying to look at the label for clues, but sometimes that just leads me in a whole different direction. So I'm giving up on that. We're right. just going to go... Dive into it. Okay, right, here here's the port. Oh, it's a nice, nice piece. Nice. Kind of normal That's port. nice. Okay, let's we'll, we'll see. <laughs> oh, okay. It does have a vetiver ish side. <laughs> I, I'm I'm with you. Green springtime's there. This was unexpected for you. And then it goes a little more like, like more classic aftershave almost really? masculine ish really? somehow. And I'm just getting like brights. Cleans whites, yellows, right. and maybe that color. Oh, now is it sweet? No. Oh. I mean, it's not not sweet, but it's not. I don't get anything gourmandy from this at all. Okay. Like nothing right. edible. Right. I'm outside. Like it's not fresh cream, like mowed grass going on. It's okay. not that type of a right. green. Right. But I, it's. I'm literally sitting on my patio looking out at just oh. green shrubbery florals. Every, oh. Like, I'm wide open spaces. Is that kind of a spring sort of greeny scent to it? Yes. And uh, um, it almost, it's it doesn't, I don't get a hot day. I don't know how oh. this is possible, but I really do get the spring in the air. Wow. Like, it's cooler outside. Right. But the spring kind of sunshine is here. It's not hot. Right. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying that I foreshadowed this. <laughs> I'm not saying that. No. But about four days before this was released, I did put something on the PAA fan page on Facebook, by the way. What you should check you that do? out <laughs> for Easter. And it was a giant menacing Easter rabbit you about did. to just pummel that this little girl. Hilarious. And she was sobbing and, and, and running then, in fear. Hence this uh, name, and Rabbit then Fighter. Three days, four days later, Rabbit Fighter. Maybe that's why I just laughed at it so, so hard. Right. So <laughs> I'm not saying I foreshadowed this, and I'm not saying I can smell the future. future but uh, maybe some wavelengths grow across But I can here. smell the future. All right, hold yeah, on. I, I, I want to smell it with you. I, I feel like to... when we lather, that middle part that I can't figure out right now is going to come out. Right. But it doesn't, it doesn't hit as florally as I thought. I'm really getting more of that drier side. Yeah, we're going to do something a little unprecedented. Take, oh, a, take, oh, a, take a quick whiff. Breaking lift. the rules. Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Take a, okay. take a quick I'm whiff curious. of this, just a little out of order. Does that answer the question? Oh. It adds, it does help with that part that oh, I see here. Oh, okay. I but love it's it. not, it's, it's, it's more ambery yeah. than oh. I'm getting here. I have no idea. <laughs> this has helped me very little. Okay, hold on. Let me see. I know, I really wish I had better words, but I kind of want you to just dive in. Because the smell we're like both rabbits. going blind here. Okay. All right, let's see. Hold on. I, yeah, I'm still. <laughs> I, I, and I, okay, so out of all of our Phoenix collection, right. it is definitely a Phoenix soap. Oh. But it is not, you know, like you were talking about earlier. Like, right. they start fresh from the beginning. Right. Completely fresh from the beginning. I could sort of point you in a lane if I had to, but I'd rather not, because I want to just let it be its own. Well, let me see if I can totally screw this up. Right, okay, hold right. on. Watch him be like, on. oh, this smells like that. Oh. <laughs> it's very clean. It, it, and it has the greens in there, but I don't know. Wow. Was what I was saying at all on your radar? Wow. <laughs> watch yeah. him be like, no. <laughs> no, 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 absolutely. Okay, absolutely. Okay. But y'all, fragrances have families. You know, mm -hmm. so it's like if you go to a, 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 a if you go to a perfumer's website, right? They're going to sort of sell the things in families. You mm -hmm. know, th this is going to be the aquatic, and this is right. going to be the gourmand. The fougeres and the yeah. You know what I love about this? This doesn't fit like like you said, like exactly what you said. This doesn't fit a category. It doesn't fit a lane. This has like two or three 
different lanes that it's that are coming right. together to create this. And we'd have to pull like a few other ones to combine right. to even get close, I think. Okay, so you know what I love about this? This takes a spring day. And you know, I've kind of said this before. Sometimes, every once in a great while, she will need to take Lainey out without me. I'm teaching or there's something going on. Right. And Lainey will go out for 20, 30 minutes. And when Lainey comes back and I smell Lainey, she smells deliciously like she's been outside. outside yeah. Y'all know what that smell mm -hmm. is. What is that smell? I don't know. What are the set notes to I've been outside? <laughs> I don't know. But they're wonderful and you can tell, right? Yeah, that's true. So it's like you've taken that beautiful outsideness and been like, okay, if this had to be a great cologne from the 30s, 40s, 50s, or 60s, what would it turn into? Right. And be outside. Y'all. <laughs> you have to put those together. <laughs> right. It has to be that outside scent, but you're going to turn that outside scent into a yep. fine vintage cologne or you. aftershave. That's what my nose got. That. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So I love that, that cause that outside smell, it does have a tiny bit of like sweetness to it, yeah, but it's naturally. not like sweet, right? That, first of all, you're totally right. That's what this does. Can, but can you smell that middle part that I was just getting like bright whites and yeah, I couldn't right. figure it out. You know, it's just, it's got all the charm of a Neroli without going that far in the floral direction. Yeah, Does right, that make sense? Right. And it doesn't go too citrusy. It doesn't like every lane that no. I thought it could be. It wasn't. And it's got just enough of a little bit of like an orange peel kind of thing just to define a little bit of sweetness mm -hmm. for you. But it doesn't stay so long that it creates a yeah. citrus character. And that was kind of where I was getting more of like the powdery classic aftershavey mm. zone as well. Yeah. And y'all, if you like the drier, yeah, like a dry less rock. sweet spices that are still super comforting and do sort of still have that earthy sweetness to them. So I, I guess it's that. If you yeah. like like the natural sweets and without the sugars, without those things, right? Yeah. Oh, and I wow. don't get I don't get like soil or dirt or something no. like that. It's not no. I don't get, get that, that at out all. of your head. It stops it. No, you're right. It's the shrubbery. Tier. It's the grass. It's the plants. It's a little bit of the flowers. And then it's like being outside in a spring sun. And then, like, he's taken that and yeah, turned it it's into It's like whatever would be caught like, in the gentle breeze. Right. Like, oh. And maybe a really fresh, clean dude is right. why I'm getting the classic after. There's just something clean about it. But it's uh, not yeah. a normal clean. Right. And that's the I love the that this just smells like I've been outside. Like, you just pick up your jacket, like, mm -hmm. after you get back from a walk. And it's like, oh, it's outside. Yeah. What's, what's, um. A little wood. Little cedar maybe in yeah. there just to like make it a little friendly on the underneath side. And, and you know, hold on, let's talk for a second about how this is smelling the future. Right? Cause I'm almost getting a time warp back versus going forward. And isn't that the, isn't <laughs> that how the space time continuum works, folks? Right? I've seen Back to the Future too. It's a cycle. Exactly. Right? Oh, this what, is I get that. Nice. What's that scene in Hello Dolly oh. when they're dancing, the movie, and they're dancing in the, the, Grassroot Park area, and they're just in these pretty colors dancing all over it's the place. It's called dancing, but uh, anyway, yeah, there you go. Right, like, and I want my dance Yeah, like, I get like right. I'm in that scene. There's colorful things around me. Right. I'm enjoying myself, just chilling at the park. Like even in that thing, there's like people sitting there reading yeah. a book or hanging out, wraps, and there's you know. And like, y'all, Gene Kelly took over New York. Like man, he just brought back turn of the century New York into all of it. So when they shot those outdoor pastoral scenes. Right. It was like the last time that New York was ever going to see those dresses, was ever going to feel that nostalgia of 1906. Or right. I know we're supposed to be in the future, but somehow it was giving me like a backwards right. loop of time. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay. Do we do we bust out the splash now for you? You know, yeah. I just hold on. I just want to share your with. experience. Oh, y'all. A tiny bit more of the florals are coming through just to bring a little bit of that natural sweetness. I wasn't going to put this on yet, but, but I'm totally I, I putting this we're on. We're breaking the wheels today. Okay, we're you, just you, doing you, whatever you, we want. Yeah, this is a, this is a celebration. Because I think there's thing. more of an amber or something happening. Oh, you're right. Oh. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> you know what my brain just gave me? Oh, she woke up. <laughs> oh, I woke up the deaf dog. <laughs> That's how good this is. Okay, I've oh, had a revelation. Yeah, this is different. I have had After a revelation. Dried. I'm I'm so glad you're here because I want you to see if I'm right about this. <laughs> okay. Okay. One of the major masculine set notes ever is leather. Okay. Now there are gonna be some of you like me who, because of your aunt when you were growing up and she used to give you English leather when you were eight, are not gonna be the biggest fans scared. of a leather note. But leather does something kind of amazing in the scent world. And this cologne, while it's got absolutely no leather in it whatsoever, hold so get that out of your head. 
this does all of the charming things that leather normally does without it being leather at all. I would I would say you are not wrong. I don't know how, but it's almost like if I said, guys, I, that we have found a substitute for flowers. Yeah, I, I was going to say that. It doesn't smell like flowers at all, but it does everything that flowers does. Mm -hmm. That's what this does with leather. But I, it also does that somehow because I don't smell flowers, but right. it's making the pretty... There, yes. I don't know how. So everything that's, the that's thing. charming and beautiful and dapper and soft and wonderful about leather has been sucked out mm -hmm. and put into this using completely different things. And I love yeah, it. Smell oh, but yes. Because think about it. Think about it. Leather is like super masculine. It's mm -hmm. drier. It's not sweet. It's natural. It's earthy. This is all of that mm -hmm. without it having to be leather. So y'all, it's taken forty years for she me to find a so substitute. Bad. I know. Well, it's it's right. It's right up her alley. <laughs> plus rabbits on the cover. She you used to go. You mentioned her in the that, walk, That's her, so. her her breed. Used to go rabbit hunting all the time. Right. So it makes Sorry perfect sense it. to me. She is a rabbit fighter. Uh, if you come right down to it. True. But y'all, yeah, I'm putting my flag in that. This oh, this has all of that masculine charm and character that a leather soap does. Without a hint of leather. Yep, Just I'd agree. all of the dryness and masculine stuff and natural smells without having to go there. And I don't know how he did it. No, and actually now jumping to this, I smell the future side, which is so weird because there I was going backwards. So clearly right. we are... Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, and it is a little bit different for me in the soap. Right? I get a little bit more of like a, a brick kind of character I do too. in this. Like more okay. of a rock Clearly character. we need to lather this up because we are... There's something in between this you know, and there that we're missing. I agree. And before we do... Let's build a lather when we read these set notes. Y'all, you know what word just struck me about this? There's going to be some guys that love the whimsical shave. Something like Baygum or like the beach, right? Mm -hmm. But some gentlemen, when they shave, prefer a dignified experience. The opposite of whimsical yeah. they require something grounded in reality they're looking for something mature and stately y'all mm -hmm. y'all if here. you think the beach is a little too whimsical this this is your dignified shave beautiful yeah. and i and oh. again like it's just all encompassing because i can't pick a time zone at all right. which i know is the intention but there is still something i think that's why i was thinking the hello dolly scene because all the gentlemen right. are you know so dolled up and they have all that fancy right like disney dapper day yeah that's, right that's that's this. this for sure beautiful and friendly but still on the dignified side like mary poppins there you go friendly but dapper and dignified and, and right? when he's in the suit that striped suit from Mary oh, Poppins, I could right. totally see that. Yeah. Working with this. this. She keeps licking all she her hair. Really she normally it. doesn't do this, but she likes the Something rabbit fighter. Something in this rabbit fighter. I wonder if Huxley uh, was a little right. bit of an inspiration did, did for Hungry, rabbit fighter. Did he, a little bit. Did Huck, is he uh, getting a whiff here? Y'all, and for those of you who might be traveling to some meetups this month, mm -hmm. this is our lather lid from PAA. This will fit any one of their soaps and a bunch of soaps from the other artisans mm -hmm. as well. And y'all, it makes a heck of a lather in the it, bowl. It, so immediately, it's already ooh, You just need to throw a soap in your check bag, throw this on top, and you're set to mm -hmm. go for a bowl. But the hard part is deciding which soap to take on that trip. Let's be real. I I, I might need to pack an extra bag. <laughs> Just for all the soaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to pack yourself samples. Sir, did you need 40 shavings? Yes! Yes, I yes. did. Every day has a different theme, okay? Catter day. It's very important. <laughs> okay, let's let's see what happened here because it's it's waking up. Kill the wabbit. This is to kill the <laughs> wabbit with. Here we go. Ready? On three. One, two. Okay. I, I know, I know. Oh. It woke up a little more. It did not change as much to the closer to the aftershave as I thought it might, but... Okay, I'm going to say something kind of stupid. But it, really? All right. Uh, this, not not that, not the ladder, but in this, I get a little bit of a vibe that I'm poolside. I don't know oh. how. I don't know how. Okay, let's see. But just a little vibe that I am sitting by the pool oh, in a know, Four Seasons Hotel kind yes, of thing. Yes, okay, you know when you're in the pool and that that part that's supposed to not be so slippery around the edge of the pool, it's like really white, stony right. kind of thing? Yeah. When that's drying, it oh. has a smell. Yes, of like a drying rock. It's yeah. really a nice scent. That's... Yeah! Yeah! Not that, the green, yes. not the right. green. No, no, the no, 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 no. But like a drying granite kind of a yeah. snack. Yeah, and like, and you know, the It's not so much in here, but there's so much in here. 
But that's what keeps it not gourmandy at all. Right. But somehow have that same vibe of that outdoor rustic kind of rocky zone. And y'all, if you know me, I'm a sucker for sweet. But I am loving this in its dryness. I would agree. I am loving how this is creating a whole world of really sort of, well, sweet notes, but not like in a sweet way, in more yeah. of like a kind way. Mm-hmm. Think of the word sweet in the way of like kind. These are kind notes. I'm with, that's but a good way to put it. Yes. sweet no. No, it's like Mary Poppins. <laughs> kind, but you couldn't exactly say she's sweet, right? Mm-hmm. She's curt. Yes. Oh, dignified. 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 This That's is a good... theme for the yes, show. This is our dignified soap. soap. All right, so from the sales page at PAA, we start with... Vetiver Haiti. Together. Vetiver Haiti. There you go. I don't know if that's Haitian vetiver, but I'm kind of guessing. And then cypress, cypress, a beautiful leaf on a tree, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then... Okay. Third thing, patchouli. Yo, beautiful. Got I it. think that's how I knew it was still masculine. Like, oh. you know, like. You know, I do thing. get that sort of earthy patchouli note in this, right? I don't but always. A lot like, of times it stops before yeah, it gets but there. But it's this more doesn't. that, like, white patchouli nice, kind of right. Vibe. Ooh, love it. Okay. And then. Tonka bean, but not crazy sweet no. still. No, and I think this is the pure heart of the tonka bean, where I, I think vanilla is more sweet, but I don't think tonka bean yeah, no. goes to, like, that sweet place vanilla does. And, and I, think I think it added to that, like, warmer, ambery right, side right. I was getting. Okay. Musk. We, we were Gorgeous. That. It's oh. light. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And then at the Look end. Look at that next one. Okay. Y'all, let's have a grown-up conversation. I'm beginning to really appreciate that I can find this scent note. And this helps greatly. A kiss of ozone. So somebody once described ozone to me as if you're standing next to a big office copier and you can kind of get a whiff of this like sweet electronic kind of a smell. Not the ink that's or paper. That's ozone. Yeah. It's like, oh. It's like Christmas story, right? A quick whiff of ozone when the fuse right, blows. Did say that, yeah. I totally can get that in this and it's beautiful. It is. Do you sense it? I think that's why I was so lost in time. There is right. something about that of like, oh, I yes. can't figure out where I'm at. And, and for me, the ozone is the prominent note in this, even more than the vetiver. And you know what? That's phenomenal. I think that's the look into the future. Yes. Because think about that scent, right? It's like mm-hmm. a little electronic, but a little natural. I mean, it's ozone. It's an element. Right? It's just about as simple an element as you can get. But it adds to that futuristic fantasy side. Oh, you know? Right? It really puts you there. Wow. Wherever that is. Do you smell mm-hmm. like the coffee machine sense of it? And I, I think that's what I was trying to get, like, as it dries on me. There's something oh, right. a little... Right. Absolutely. Yes. Subtle. It, it does say a kiss of ozone. It's subtle. For somebody who loves sweet, I love how they've done the not sweet in this. Uh, yeah, I love how they've I agree. kept it friendly and kind and pleasurable without adding sweet to it. And I know we were talking about, like, the ozone side and other stuff, but there is still something so clean and dry about this scent. Without it becoming too pretty too clean it it just all kind of fits cohesively in that scent and to answer just a few more questions we're gonna have to go down a few more steps so what kind of a guy would wear this like for some reason i'm thinking like a golfer like, oh, yeah, I could see that, actually. You know, like Jack, we, I know we've been watching some golf stuff on TV. Right. But like Jack Nicholas, like, would, would kind of smell like this. Right, like somebody that spends time outside, I feel like that would be its kind of own scent alone. Right, right. Or, you know, like a captain of the guard or like somebody from the FBI that couldn't yeah, be too you sweet, go. you know, when he meets you. Somebody from the IRS, maybe. <laughs> he can't be too sweet. Men in black. Yes. The guys in the suits. Yes, the but men they in are black. Future. Because you they can't. Live- right. Ooh. She did it! She no, cracked the code! Like they live all over the universe. Right, and, and if it was too sweet, it wouldn't fit their character. Nope. That's not what Tommy Lee Jones is about in that mm-hmm. movie. It's not about being sweet. It's about being real and about right? being a guy and going out and And the things that they aliens. interact with would make them have a different scent because right. they're not from this planet. Because it know? would need to be clean. It would need to be dignified. It would need to be authoritative. Mm-hmm. It would need to be all of those things without being like a big warm hug. Right. Ah. It's so true. Ah. And it's funny because reading this list... I would have no idea that this could be such a good springtime scent. So, y'all, it's pretty simple. All it has to be is the first day of wabbit season, and you're going to grab your gun and your little foldy, foldy hat, and you're going to go out, and you're going to start looking for a rabbit. Well, just about the time one pops out of the ground and told you that you should have taken a left turn at Albuquerque, you just got got your own. So head over to their website at phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com, or even better, do it by way of the link in the description. 
It's an affiliate link, which lets them know that we sent you, and it gives us back a small percentage of the sale, which we'll probably spend on soap so we can make more episodes. It's at no cost to you, and we would be grateful. Well, I've had my shave, y'all, with Rabbit Fighter. Now, let's have an important conversation. Most of the absolute crowd pleasers are on the way sweeter side. So sweet is very often a shortcut to being very well liked and beloved. And I think it takes an awful lot of courage and a really special scent to do everything that's charming about those sweeter scents, everything that's masculine about those sweeter scents, everything that's beautiful about those sweeter scents without an ounce of sweetness. Because it makes the soap rely on the rest of the strength of its character. And boy, does this have a beautiful, strong, dignified, gentle character. So if you're having the kind of day where you'd rather trade dapper and dignified for sweet, and we all have those days, y'all, I'm going to be fighting some rabbits. Welcome to Messages. So our friend Matt from Teton Shaves sent us a shave brush with We've Been Showing, but he also included this lovely makeup brush, oh. and it is the softest brush I have ever touched in my life. It's I don't beautiful. even know how to tell you. And the best news is, he also sent us a code. Yes. Good for any brush on his entire site to give away to yes. one of y'all for free! Yay. All you have to do to be considered in the giveaway is to send an email here to we sent you at the barbershopduet.com, be a subscriber on YouTube, and check out Teton shaves on some of the various social media and check back on June 1st when we do our drawing live on the show to see if you are our lucky winner and thanks Matt this was more than generous so if you think you're going to be able to identify a phoenix soap on a first smell (laughs) well I hate to say you're in for a challenge but y'all these are completely different from soap to soap and from day to day we're never sure where we're going or when mm-hmm. we're going when right. we open a Phoenix what soap. What we're going to smell. But guaranteed, it's going to be a brand new adventure and take you to some brand new and amazing places. And we are so grateful, not only for sending this to us yes, for free to so review, much. Douglas and Fran, but for starting over with that blank canvas mm-hmm. every time you go to create. Because we know what kind of courage that takes. And we so appreciate all of the inspiration and love that you put into these soaps. We do. Every smell takes us on a new journey or you get to meet a new person or a new place. So it's really enjoyable knowing every time we open our Phoenix box for our first impressions, it really is a first impression like none other. Right. And every time I hear a Sinatra song, I think, well, thank God he found his way to music. And every time I smell a PAA soap, I say, well, thank God those two found their way into our shaving bed because these are amazing. Agreed. Don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. You'll smell better just watching this. Oh, 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 o